Hey there, what's happening? Today I want to show you a uh, video on a Klein Tools MM200 uh, display screen that is, uh, it has, uh, it's not working, it's uh, for whatever reason or another, but it's kind of stupid because uh, I have kept it in a controlled and temperature controlled environment and uh, um, only use it about twice a year and all of a sudden now it's not working, so uh, here we go. So here it is, you can see the uh, MM200 there at the top, if I pull it out, uh, well anyway, it's there. Um, hang on, let me see if I can dust off my, uh, there, any better? No, not really. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. So here it is. Uh, maybe we'll focus, oh, there it is, there we go, MM200. Okay, now, so turned it off, turned it on, spits out some display figure, whatever, and uh, it doesn't work. But yet, if I push right here, oh, voila, look at that, it works. Shh. Totally ridiculous. Anyway, so pop off this little little uh, protective cover, you just kind of got to work it off. It's like a little phone case for your multimeter, blah, blah, blah. There it is, turn it over, there's your battery, there's a screw for the battery, there is two screws for the case. Pop those screws out, this will just kind of lift right out, and it comes off like that, and here's what I found. So, this piece right here, this... Piece here it's just a piece a long little cylinder that pushes on this round thing and there's obviously a connection in there and it is not making enough contact so I figure I'll show you when I push the my finger on the back of this how the screen immediately works there it is, that's my finger on the back of it. Voila. So, there it is, I took it off. So now, so what I figure I'm gonna do, I mean, anything will work. You can, you know, whatever you wanna come up with, but I am gonna try just putting a tiny bit of electrical tape, which is probably a good thing to use, considering there's a panel of all kinds of, uh, of things uh, and it's electronic fl uh, electricity flowing back there on this back of this circuit board. Uh, elect uh, electrical tape is probably a good idea to use, all things considered. So I'm just going to basically add the electrical tape right to the top of that cylinder, or maybe even add a couple pieces on top of here. Even if my electrical tape flows over the top, it's not a conductor, so it should raise up that little button enough so that way this stinking thing that is not making contact makes enough contact on to the meter so let's give it a shot here let me see if I can hold this one getting out my electrical tape here we go uh, there we go there's one piece I'm going to set that to the side for a minute I'm going to double this up I'll show you what I did here in a second. Give me a second here. All right. So, all right, I got two pieces of electrical tape. There's one stuck down there. Here's my other piece. I'm going to actually fold it, fold this piece in half to double it up. And uh, there's one fold. And I'm going to fold it one more time like that Oop. there we go it's real scientific here you know it's, it's, this is MacGyver MacGyver stuff right here uh, I'm not a big electronics guy but I do like to try to fix things when I can and I guess this is one of those do-it-yourself fix jobs that uh, that should work so it's on there and then once I put this other piece of tape right over the top of it it should 
hold in place. So I'm going to put that there, get my finger off, put my other piece of tape, longer piece of tape, right over the top of it. Like, oh, crap. Let me see here. Just to raise that up enough to, oh, there it is. There's my bigger piece on top. So we've essentially raised it up a little bit. And I'm going to tuck it in because this is electrical tape. It doesn't matter what I stick it to because it's not a conductor. And there we go. Just a little tap, tap, tap a rooski with uh, your finger. And now, once the case is back on, the tape is really going to hold itself in place anyway so it really doesn't need any tack there but you know I guess if you ever take it apart or you have a problem again you know just do the same thing over again let's see if my uh, solution worked I have not yet tried it with this tape on I decided to start filming the video while I was you know you put down the front first front first it just snaps right in very easily Push down on the back. All right, there it is. Now, I just need to get my screws. Pop the screws back in. There's one. Where is that? There it is. And my other screw. go my trusty little screwdriver I'm keeping the truck there we go sorry trying to hold my phone and use a screwdriver at the same time almost done give me a second one minute one minute there it is there's one there's number two screws are in you can't see them Let me flip it over up oh. <laughs> and it's still not working so <laughs> even though well it's not working but let's try that again I'm not gonna give up on this I I do actually think that uh, I'm gonna pop these uh, uh, screws right back out of here one last time uh, there's one and here comes the other one let's see here give me a second if I had some some hold music or something I'd play it for you but sorry I don't I'm sitting here in a tractor waiting for a trailer to be unloaded so I figured I could check check out my multimeter there we go get the case out and uh, wait for while I'm waiting for the trailer I could try to fix this stinking thing it's either that or take it back to Home Depot and that's gonna be a little difficult to try to tell them to take it back I mean I'd accept the a uh, store credit uh, but I'd have to argue with them probably because they don't even make this one anymore and it's been a little over a year or two but they should take it because this is a ridiculous problem I didn't do anything to it so I just think it's not thick enough so I, I think what I'm gonna do is put shoot I don't even know I mean I got uh, I got a penny a penny here uh, it's a little bit big but if it doesn't touch any electronics I mean that's not it's really not the best thing if I was at home I would have all kinds of little things to put in there um, let's see here. I don't know, maybe I'll put one more layer of, uh, electrical tape to make sure that the, um, uh, the, the penny, or I could just wrap a tiny bit of electrical tape around the penny, too. That way I'm sure that it does not make contact with any of the electronics. Hey, what's the worst that could happen? It's going to make contact and then the multimeter's broke in more than one way? 
<laughs> like it really matters. Well, let's see, we're going to put that right on top. Just like that, I wrapped the penny. Now it's definitely above the electronics. So I'm going to... Uh, now the question is, is it too thick? Did I raise it too much? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Let me put a little bit more tape on that. Hang on. One sec here. One more, one more bit of tape. The other direction. And, oh, see there goes the phone again. One more bit of tape the other direction. And it cover up the penny completely. And uh, then my guess is it's going to be too high. But, you know, hey, we're trying. What can I say? There you go. It's, I mean, it's raised up quite a bit, but, you know, we'll see what happens here, I guess. Here, put the lid back on. There we go. There. Put down the front. Put down the back. Yeah, it's a little tight, but that's what we want. We want it to be tight because it's all about contact problem, right? All right, let me put my screws, two screws back in hole one and hole two. Give me one second here. I'll be right back with you. And screw number one is in and screw number two is in. Just gotta turn the screwdriver. Here we go, turn the one in. Turn number two, turn the second screw in, let's see what we got, there she goes, oh look at that, <laughs> if you don't succeed, try, try again, right, is that how it goes, I guess it does, alright, we got, I'm going to turn it back off, turn it back on, like so, and the multimeter is working. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.